hey guys thank you for tuning back into my channel so today i'm going to teach you guys how to create this look it's just a really black wing liner with a bold red lip so we're starting off with eyebrows per usual i'm using the bold face better brow pencil in the number eight and i'm just going to use this pencil just to kind of shade in her eyebrows just to fill them in a little bit not too much because she naturally has beautiful brows and then i'll use this spoolie just to kind of distribute that color throughout her eyebrow and just kind of fill it in, make it look really pretty. Not do too much with it because you don't want bold brows with, you know, any kind of look. It's not cute. So just keep it natural. So today I'm using my favorite base. It's by P. Louise and this is in the number three. I'm using this darker shade. Well, it's not, I don't want to say darker, but it's kind of like her skin tone. Just because we're going for more of a natural eye look today, I mean, we're not doing too much. We're only going to use one, one shadow color. So, um, number three in this P. Louise base works best for today's look. So, here I'm using a flat concealer brush to apply this base any concealer brush will do um but honestly this is one of my favorite brushes for the step just because it's so flat and it works so well and i can shape out the brows and i can define them really well using this brush i purchased it on ebay i'll leave the link in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing and then i go ahead and blend out the edges so there's no harsh lines with a fluffy brush you can use any kind of fluffy brush Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm actually going to use a bronzer, and this is in the shade Dark Tan by MAC Cosmetics. The brush I'm using is by Morphe. It's in the number M514, and I love this brush just to pack on color. So I'm picking up a little bit of color at a time, and I'm applying it right in the crease area. I'm going to definitely pack this color on and continue to blend in circular motions and kind of like windshield wiper motions. So you want to make sure this... Um, Bronzer is blended well into the base so there's no harsh lines. And if you notice, I'm stretching out the eyelid by lifting the eyebrow. And the reason why I do this is just because it helps stretch that skin out and it gives a it helps me get a better blend, if that makes sense. So I was debating if I should fast forward this part or leave it but i decided on leaving it just so you guys can see exactly how i blend so what i'm doing here is i'm just picking up color applying blending picking up color applying blending and i'm going to keep doing that until i'm happy with the color payoff okay so using my favorite product this is the maybelline gel liner in the shade black is black i apply some on the back of my hand and i'm picking it up with this p louise angled brush i think it's from her acid rain collection I like to start off at the outer corner of the eye and just drag that gel liner towards the center. And then I like to just start creating a very straight line. So then now I'm working towards the inner corner of the eye. And then normally I'll tell my model to like look the opposite way so the skin can stretch. And it's a lot easier for me to create a very sharp like straight line. You guys, when creating a wing liner on your client, please take your time and be patient. Um, I've rushed this process before and I completely messed it up and I had to start all over But it's key to be patient to take your time Trust me. You will nail it So as you can tell I'm just picking up a little bit of product at a time and just reapplying making sure that it's really pigmented and it looks really black and then I'm gonna start creating the wing so when I the way I like to create a wing is I'll have my client open their eye and I'll just start off by dr drawing a straight line at the outer corner and then I'll constantly turn my client's face just to make sure that the line is even like both eyes look the same because you want to make sure one wing liner is the same as the other because you don't want one going up one going down you know what I mean if you guys like tutorials like this where I'm creating looks on a model please let me know comment down below because um, I was thinking maybe I should start doing looks on my face but I don't know if you guys want to see the way I do my own makeup on my face or if you guys are interested in videos like this where I'm creating looks on other people let me know comment down below <laughs> Thank you.
All right, you guys, so here's the secret sauce to a jet black wing liner. I'm using the black eyeshadow from the Morphe Times Jeffree Stars palette. You don't necessarily need this palette. All you need is black eyeshadow. Um, my favorite is Urban Decay Blackout. That works amazing as well. The brush I'm using, I don't remember the number. It's by Morphe, but I will leave the number in the description. Um, the secret is to have your gel liner wet on the eyelid, okay? And then pick up that black eyeshadow and apply it to the wetness of the gel liner, if that makes sense. And that's the secret to the blackest wing liner. So if you guys try this, tag me, let me know what you guys think. Um, I would love to see. And once you guys try this on yourselves and at home, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Like videos and pictures does not do this justice. And then using any makeup wipe, you want to make sure you're cleaning under the eye um, really well because when you use black eyeshadow, it does. there's a lot of fallout and you don't want to go on top of that with foundation because your foundation will mix in with the black eyeshadow and it'll just become a whole big old mess so make sure you're wiping all that off before applying um, any type of primer or foundation on the face okay so to prep the skin I'm using this Juno and Co moonshine miracle cream this product literally works so amazing I can't even explain to you guys how much I love it not only does it prime the skin it also hydrates the skin and it like makes all the pores disappear I'll make life easier on you guys and I'll add the link into my description. Um, all the information will be on there. You can also use my code Chrismetics and I'll leave it somewhere here so you guys spell it correctly. And once you use my code, you'll be saving some money. If you guys know me, you know this is my favorite foundation of all freaking time i'm obsessed i've been obsessed i'm gonna be obsessed until i come across the next foundation i'm in love with but as of right now i'm completely in love so using the huda beauty foundation all over the face i like to pump some on the back of my hand and just pick that up apply it to the face and then using the morphe m536 brush i'm just gonna i just go in and push that product into the skin so i'm not rubbing I'm not going into like circular motions. The only time I like to go move my brush in circular motions is when I get near the jawline or the ear just to kind of blend it into the ear and down her jawline and into the neck. But when I'm on the face, like the cheek area or the forehead or the nose, I'm just going to push that into the skin. So to address this, because I know I'm going to get a lot of comments and people asking me why, um, I know you guys are going to be like, oh, well, the foundation doesn't match the face. Well, no shit. I'm not trying to match the foundation to the face. I'm trying to match the foundation to the body, okay? So normally our face and our neck is a different color than our body. Does that make sense? Nobody, I've never came across a human that has the same shade like they're unless they're spray tanned like if you're spray tanned yes but if you're not spray tanned your natural color your body does not match your neck nor does it match your face period i'm sorry i'm not trying to sound rude or obnoxious stating this but i get asked this question numerous times people don't understand it people don't get it and it's okay you don't need to understand it you don't need to get it as long as you see the end look and see what it looks like and how it matches the body that's all that matters guys that's all that matters i also get asked well why so much foundation um well if i don't use so much foundation you guys it's not gonna look the same people are obsessed with my work why because they see the end look and they see how flawless it looks they see the face looking extremely amazing and it looks the same in real life and if you don't apply more foundation on your face you're not going to get that extremely flawless look and another thing i'm going to tell you guys i do a lot of instagram social media makeup okay with that being said instagram and social media makeup is different than the makeup that you normally do just to go to work or the makeup that you do to go out like it's more i have to apply more to get that wow factor so i hope i answered your question if you're sitting there wondering wow this is a lot or 
Yeah, that's not her shade. Mm, I hope you guys understand now. So moving along, I'm going to go ahead and just push that product into her skin even more using a beauty blender. And this is very helpful because the beauty blender will definitely pick up a lot more product that's not needed. Okay, so for concealer, I'm using Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Pearl and Nude. This is my favorite concealer and it's been my favorite concealer for the longest time. I'm using the same concealer brush I used to shape out her eyebrows. This is the Master Strokes in the number 8. Again, I'll link it in the description for you guys. So I'm just applying this in her T-zone, just under her eyes, down at the bridge of her nose, Cupid's bow, and the chin area. And a little bit on the forehead just to give her that highlight. I like to use a generous amount just to get that flawless look. Um, and then I'm going to pick up my Beauty Blender and start blending this all into the skin. So it takes me a while to blend this just because it is a lot of product, but I don't mind it because at the end it looks amazing. Um, I'll go ahead and leave it up. I'm not going to fast forward and I won't delete it so you guys can see what it looks like um, and how I blend it in. So tell me what you guys think of these tutorials. Um, honestly, I'm really working hard on YouTube. It's like my next focus. And I'm planning on posting two to three videos per week. So let me know what looks you guys want to learn and what you guys want me to post on here. I have haven't been taking YouTube serious. I've had it up for a minute and I barely post on it. But... I want to take it to the next level so tell me what you guys want to learn and what you guys would like to um, see me post on here So for powder, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty in the shade Pound Cake, and I'm just going to focus this right under her eye um, just to set that concealer so it doesn't crease. So I'm just applying a little and then brushing it away. So for the bronzer, I'm going to use Dark Tan by MAC Cosmetics. This is the same bronzer I used for her eyes. And I'm just going to focus this right in her um, cheeky area just to chisel that, define her face. And it's really easy to blend this product in. That's why I love it so much. So I'm just going to apply it right there and then a little bit on her forehead, a little around her jawline and her nose. And you'll see, it literally looks so stunning. I love this product, you guys. If you're looking for that perfect bronzer, you guys need to try Dark Tan by MAC Cosmetics. I love Dark Tan, and also the other shade I love using is called Dark Deepest. Those are my two faves.
So for blush, I'm using KKW times Mario in the shade Very Graceful. And I'm just using any fluffy brush just to focus this right on um, the apples of her cheeks. <laughs> So this is one of my favorite eyeshadows by MAC Cosmetics. It's in the shade Nylon, and I love using this to like highlight that area like right under that brow. So like the brow bone or in the inner corner of the eye especially. Oh, you guys, literally, look at that. Look at that. How stunning does that look? You need Nylon by MAC Cosmetics in your makeup kit. You definitely do. For eyelashes, I'm going to use Detroit, and if you're wondering who's Detroit, what's Detroit, what are these lashes, they're by me, Chrismetics. You guys can find them at Shop Chrismetics on my Instagram. They're literally perfect. Wait until she opens up her eye and you're going to see what I'm talking about. I'm obsessed. I've always been obsessed with these lashes. They look good on anyone and everyone. They're mink lashes. They have a clear band, so they're extremely comfortable to wear. So when applying lashes, you want to make sure you tell your client just to look straight down. Um, I don't like when they close their eyes just because they're squinting and then it's harder to apply the lash. So just tell them to look straight down so the lid is stretched out and then just go in and apply that. For highlighter, you guys, I'm going to use, um, the shade is called Twilight and it's by JCAD's Beauty. I'll link it in the description. I've been obsessed with their highlighters, you guys, because it doesn't look cakey. It just, like, gives you that flawless, glowy, wet shine. Like, you're shining from within. I'm obsessed with these highlighters. You can um, save some money by using the code CHRISMETICS, and I'll link all that into the description. For the lips, I was debating if I should do a nude or a red, but I'm so glad I picked the red because it looks so freaking amazing. I'm obsessed with this look. I mean, even if we put a nude lip on her, she still would have looked amazing, but this red is just like, ugh, it's giving me life. But I used the Morphe pencil in the shade Scarlet, and then once I'm done outlining her lips, I'm going to use Hot Shot Lipstick by Morphe. Okay, so like I said earlier, I'm using the Morphe um, lip liquid lipstick in the shade Hot Shot. And just any flat, really small defined flat brush will do for this. Never use the actual applicator in the liquid lipstick on your clients because that's just disgusting and that's gross, you guys. You have a bunch of clients coming in and out. You never want to double dip and contaminate the tube so make sure you're applying some of that liquid lipstick on the back of your hand and pick it up using a flat brush for this um so that's pretty much for this tutorial if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask i'll be answering any questions you guys have um don't forget to subscribe and show some love and here's the final look i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys learned something new today i love you guys and i can't wait to see the looks that you guys recreate